Hello and welcome back to Solis Factory. Today we are at the other end of the factory. And I just have a... Yes, I can't stand on top of this thing. <laughs> well, we got our big tower here. And that's the thing we're working on today. Now, let's just get down from here. Because a few things need to happen up in that end, and we also need a few things to happen in this end. So first off, let's drive this one while it's assembling. Because, why not? And around the bushes and up here. Now, last time we got a handle on the first bit of waste and pretty soon I will probably have to go... Whoa! Okay, that's a new one. I'll probably have to go down and deal with the radioactive stuff. But right now I have been looking at... Okay, that, see, that, that rock seems to be magnetic. At least it's attracting me. Okay, what did I hit this time? Okay. Eh? Okay, it... It just completely weirded. So go away. And we'll try that one again. Kick me out. But okay, now we're in. Maybe if I slow down, okay. Does the same thing happen when I hit it here? Oh. And let's see. This thing. Now, I've been feeding this one, so we're about halfway on that. This one I took a look at, and this will take something like 60 hours close to it of non-stop production time if I just do one. That is a long time. This one is... 1,000 minutes, that's a considerable amount of time. This one is twice that. So these three, they're going to take a long time. So my plan is basically just get the production lines for each of these and then just leave the computer running. Just let it run until we got all the parts. There's not much else I can do in the meantime, unless I want to redesign the whole thing, and yeah. Those three things are... Ooh, nice, almost so. It's basically the, the things we need. Now, if we take a look, we need the magnetic thing. This one, and it takes versatile frameworks. We have a factory for that. It takes batteries. We also have a factory for that, and it takes electromagnetic control rods. We don't have a factory for that up here, but we do have the components being manufactured. And I think I can just piggyback off that using the bottom recipe. I think that'll be the most efficient. So basically, I need just to... Oh, wait a minute. Um, ah, come on. This one. Um, we got this. We need this one, and that is an assembler. So let's just make sure we got the materials. One of these, one of these. Right, I need wires, cables. Easy peasy, they're right over here. So 
should do it. And I got some issues with my keyboard. It's annoying. Okay, let's get down to the nice hard flat concrete and not into the slippery grass. Now since I need batteries I think over here will be the best spot for it. Basically where this big truck. <laughs> Just look at the size difference and I'll run it over. Can't. What do we have in here? Ah, just go. Cool. Oh, poor little thing. Right. Now I need to siphon off a few batteries. So, what we are going to do is take a smart splitter and just feed it overflow. Because batteries are still the primary. And there. So we need one of the intelligent splitters. Not organization, it's logistics. Okay. Okay, we can do that. Then. Right output will be overflow. And I think something has just collected a bunch of batteries. Is one not full yet? No, you know what? I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna take this one off and this one off. Anyway, actually, going to take this one down again. What I wanna do is. We need loads of batteries, so. Loads of batteries we shall have. Let's see. Oh, I didn't know they angled like that. Well, that's a bit odd. And weird. Yeah, that's just plain weird. We're going to go out to. Oh, no, we. To do the smart splitter first. Smart splitter is up here. Smart splitter. And like that. And we are going to go center is overflow. Left is battery. How much battery you got in here? Oh, so it's nine already. That's good. There. I want these to be fed first. It's not like we're going to use a lot of batteries. And we're doing 60 batteries a minute here. Is it overclocked? Uh, it's overclocked slightly. Okay, back. Manufacturer. There. You know what? I'm going to go quite a soul flow as well. There we go. That's the first one. Is it magnetic, magnetic, magnetic? Generator. 
the versatile frameworks. Coming up. Let's see, you need to go down there, so... Coming in on this line, I think. You're coming from the factory. To this slightly wonky turn thing. I can't see anything. I need to get up there. And yes, you're the one. Right. It's nice. Let's run along here and just see where can we put one of these here. On there. I'm not out. Now we need to go over there. We still need to feed this one somewhere. Oh, let's see. We got a thing here. So, please come this way. And from there. Can you go there? Yes, you can. And please go. Ah, I can't hit. Get it there. Oh, nice. I'll just save. Okay, that's good. Oh, it can't reach all the way. That's fine. We are going to put it. Here and a bit high because I don't know how low this will go. We are crossing a machine, so no. Ah, there. There we are. First bit. Let's see, we need to go back to. Back to over here. Hmm. I really feel like I'm mistreating this thing. But I think I'll make a factory down here for last bit I need. Electromagnetic control rods. Now, somewhere here, I have an elevator going up. Did I take it down? Probably did. Because it didn't really work that well. Oh, it's, it's over there. Anyway, 
we can take one of these and just fly right up to here this is where I need to go so a simpler I'm actually going to turn you the other way now from you into there and you are going to make these electromagnetic control rods so status are coming in I just need the high-speed connectors which are right here and that's why it's convenient to build it on this side There we go. Look up to power. Yeah. We're good to go. Just check. Yeah, you're doing two at a time. We have a long thing that needs to be cooked. I would like to place one of these. Two of them. Because, of course, it doesn't fit. Because it just never does. I just suck at aligning these things. I need to figure out where we're going first. We're going that way? That way. Now we need to go Ooh, from there. See, this is the return line, so I need to go over here. And catch that one. So, this one is in order. about there again. Now I could of course make uh, trains and stuff. And I've seen some people uh, actually planning out the whole thing in such a way that but um, separate factories for just about everything. So ingots are produced just about where they are, where the mines are. And let's see, I need to go that way. And also, then you just collect those and transport them by train to wherever they're needed. Might work. Some people make factories for all the big bulk components, and the smaller stuff is produced wherever it's needed or where the materials located. That's another way of doing it. And I think we are out of encased beams now. Yep. So let's go pick some up. Put the last bit up. Give it some power. And a few storage units. That way it can just keep going. Do 
dim, 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 dim. I don't want to take all. Let's see, where did we get to? Got to that one. <laughs> well, there is significant resources being just placed on belts. It does give me a big buffer to work with. And especially these control rods, I could crank the production rate very much down. But I really care to. I know I could make it so that everything is just getting fed what it needs. But I rather prefer the bit where it's just always running. Never mind the power. I can deal with that. I just need to build more our producers. And right now my power of choice would be nuclear. With plutonium coming in as consuming the byproducts. Then of course I got plutonium to work with at the end. There we go. Should now have. Uh, what? Aha! A train of control rods. Can I reach the front? Yes, I can. Let's see. We'll just be riding this one back. And there they are. All we need to do now is hook some power up. And we should be producing the electromagnetic things. Mm hmm. Seems to be yanked forward a little bit every time. So every time it connects, whoop, I get a forward yank. Cool. We are good to go. Where is power? Mm, they are all connected up there. Let's do that. And it's coming in. You're still short on battery part. Let's just get up here and see how much we are behind. We are almost there. Yep, now it's starting the backlogging. But I do have a few batteries on me, so... I can sacrifice 40 to you. And that should give us eight of these. And then we'll just watch the backlog occur while we're waiting on production. There we go. Pretty soon we should see batteries coming this way. Okay, next time. There they go. And they're just flowing in. Much faster than we consume them. Now, this will provide a big buffer for this one, as well as ensuring a steady supply here. On the other side, on this one and around to the side here. I want to make one of these 
And as you see, it needs to turn around. And one more. Oh, I can't. I'm lacking pipes. Well, that's just how we go sometimes. There. And that's about it. Let's go to here and just snap a shot of them when they come out. It should be right about here. No? Come on, I want to see you. There they are. Don't know which one I'm going to use as the thumbnail, but there they are. I just need 4,000 of them. So... Yeah. We are... Easily... Oh! Oh! Oh ho! Did we have a su We have had a sudden drop. Okay, manufacturing over here. You switched off, please. Because that'll at least save a bit. And... I... I need to get down to my nuclear site and f see what's going on there. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It's because... One of the nuclear sites has run full of something. Ow. Or maybe I'm using too much fuel or something. Okay. That's why we have these batteries. So we can see. Um. one is a bit faster and I found out that if I just go past this one it'll refuel me on the way that's very nice of it now I'm pretty sure that my big nuclear plant is having an issue and after that I think maybe my fuel production is having an issue so that's the two problem areas, I think. Let's see. First we're going over here. And... Get out of this stuff. Put on our nuclear suit. And have a look. And this dude is just going crazy. Yeah. You are, f you are out of fuel. Why are you out of fuel? Mm hmm. Interesting. What about you? Okay, now we're charging again. And you down there, you're running fine. Why am I not... Uh... That's just weird. I set up a new factory down here. Is it because we are running particle accelerator or something? You're missing encased plutonium. Why are you missing encased plutonium? 
I think I know why. Oh crap. This just keeps coming. And go. Now we still got waste coming in, so that's not the issue. Just quickly get down. Take a look. Did I run out of water? Did I get to jump? Let's see. You're good. You're good. Nitric acid, eh? Nitric acid. That is upstairs. It's not. Uh, no. Okay. Now we know what the problem is. Let's go see if we can fix it quick. Because nitric acid should be using quite a bit more than I actually need. And this clicking is really going on my nerves. Yeah, you're empty. Well, you got the stuff there. Which means I suspect the pump, as that pump should be producing quite a bit of pressure. It's trying to send 100 through. So what's the issue here? Got tiny mites in it. So what happens to you? You fill up? No, you don't actually. That's weird. Let's see, I can put in a valve here. Let's just see what that does. It says Flow rate zero. Zero. So it's filling up this stuff. It's because it's treating each section as a separate thing to be filled. Is something wrong here? See, this one is it's not getting any flow. See, it's just sitting there. This pump down here should provide plenty of head. I mean, it's only lifting one and a half meters and capable of. So right here is almost none. 
so perhaps I need more pumps. Or I need a buffer. Maybe a buffer tank would be the solution. Let's see, can I make a buffer tank? Yes, I can. So, let's make one. But we need to sort this nitric. Before it gets up to be a big problem. Industrial fluid buffer? Goes there. You go away and go from there to there. Then we'll see just how much we are actually getting. Because those pipes are full and it should easily be able to provide the head we need. Ow. Now you're not providing anything? Yeah, it's already connected. seems a bit odd, doesn't it? So from there to there, and just to make sure, we are going to put a pump here. And hook you up not on that one. Not on that one. Like so. Do not pump anything. Okay. Troubleshooting continues. And I can drop this way. So our nitric is not coming through. Well, that's good to know. See, this one's actually empty. So that's where the problem lies. We are out of danger, so get back on. You on and you there. Perfect. Let's check the nitric facility. And then I think it's about done for today. Dip dim dim. I just need to remember to switch on factory. Let's check nitric. That must have some kind of issue. Not sure what it could be, but something. I'm just glad I don't have to climb this ladder in real life. Climbing it with a bolt gun in one hand. And we are going quite high. Can't see how, how much the height difference is, but I know it's quite a bit. I wonder what happens if I drop some fuel in. I can. I can. What? That's not the fuel it uses. I don't think it actually has a fuel slot. It just has a single, single stack carrying capacity. It's just meant to zoom around here. 
Mm-hmm. There it is. The facility we need to look at. What's the matter with you? You're not getting iron plates. Okay. So what's up with that? Wait a minute, I got the spares. I got plenty of spares. So you get to move on and we'll check the iron facilities. This iron is coming in over here. Hey, wait a minute. You should have plenty of iron. Do I have the unfortunate thing again where I have foreign objects on my belt? Yes, that's the problem. I thought I had cleaned those out. I don't know where they came from, but they've been highly annoying. Okay. Well, that's that. Everything is back up and running. And here we have a power point. Let's just see. Okay, max is still 12. We are at 9, we should get to above 10 pretty soon. But we got everything out and it is done. <laughs> Let's see. Should now have a nice steady flow of nitric. Well, there is a little bit coming through. We have blue. It's good. Okay, that's bad. A decent landing. Let's get up here and check it out. Do we have anything coming through? Not yet. Well, that would be a big bummer. It's showing yellow for no... This one is showing green? No, that's yellow. So still... But we are getting some coming in. Getting... 15 or about maybe 30. So I trust that it'll work. And while I'm getting irradiated, I'll say bye for now. See you next time.